interview you've all been waiting for. Denea Jackson. Be the first to hear her heartbreaking story as she bears it all on the yellow couch. Lateris R. Whitfield, host of the Dear Future Wifey podcast, sits down for an exclusive with Denea Jackson. This episode got so good, it's our first two-part interview. Premiering Wednesday, May the 24th, and Thursday, May the 25th, on the Dear Future Wifey YouTube channel. Not only is she not crazy, she's absolutely brilliant. So, wow. Wow, what, what was that? What was that about? Well, you know, I think the world did not see me for so many years, so they have nothing to go off of. Right. And so they're seeing me for the first time when all of this crazy stuff is going on. And then I'm sitting up here talking about Jesus. Talking about a helmet of salvation. So it's like, oh, she has lost her mind. You know, she is go, 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 go. right. Be the first to hear her heartbreaking story as she bears it all on the yellow couch. All right, y'all. I am so, so ready for this. <laughs> um, This is just an intro, you guys. The interview will be airing. I just wanted to talk about narcissism in this relationship what's up friends for subbies you know i talk about narcissism all the time and this right here is a case that i'm going to revisit okay so most of you probably know who Derek jackson is Derek jackson is a i guess relationship guru that panders to women and I used to be one of those women that was a huge fan of this guy right here. I thought he was handsome. I thought he was wise. And my favorite, favorite topic that he used to talk about was narcissism. So it really shocked me when it turned out that he was a narc himself. And no, I am not a professional. I know this already. I just have a narc detector that just goes the fuck off when it goes off and I point out the signs I am not claiming to diagnose I just point out signs when I see a narc I just say hey just like if I see an asshole I'm gonna call you an asshole if I see a narc I'm gonna call you a narc feel me so again this is not a diagnosis this is just my thoughts and opinion I think this dude is a narc so anyway this Famous viral video that went on. His wife and her holy bonnet. Uh, they're sitting on the couch and he is addressing the cheating allegations. Jackson here and today I am joined by my lovely wife, Denea. But the truth is, and I'm saying it here now, is that Derek Jackson was involved with other women. outside. The First thing with my narky senses that went off were that he spoke of himself in third person throughout this entire life. It was very, very odd to me because I never noticed it before. It's almost like the mask slipped and this dude starts talking about himself in third person. It's a huge turnoff. I know not everybody that does it is a narcissist. I know it's not, but to me, it's a red flag. It really is. Um, a lot of people that do speak in third person think really highly of themselves, sometimes a little too highly of themselves. A little grandiose, if you ask me. <laughs> My baby boy wanted to be heard, you know, he in the background always. But anyhow, um, this guy speaking in third person, uh, it just... <laughs> marriage and by involved i want to be clear i'm not talking about just casually kicking it maybe a lunch or something like that i'm talking about as serious as sex um to sexual flirtation and, and meeting up and that kind of thing and some things that otherwise may be considered okay by some in terms looking at her face you could tell this woman man she is hurt she is so hurt and if you did watch this entire live, she did admit that she knew that he was unfaithful. She saw a video of him being intimate with other women. Okay, so this was already known back in 2021. Okay. Now off to this clip right here. So this was a live that they deleted right away. I'm not sure why. 
the shade room pops up in and in the live he seems excited that the shade room is there but yeah let's get into it for, for shade room i think that was a great question let me see so i don't know if that explained it there's there's no justification when i say explain it by the way none you you look uncomfortable. What is your current? What, what is? Why am I uncomfortable? They they stay trying to diagnose you as like my cat. First of all, you like guys I'm, don't know me. I'm not uncomfortable. Like this is how I am. You're gonna like it or you're not. I don't. I'm not gonna take investment well, in what I, they think I'm, about me. Well, okay, we've done a lot of focusing on those who have something negative to say. But okay, they're no, always gonna have something negative to say. Somebody is always. I cannot help but look at his face. Um, <laughs> this is when you go against the narc. Like, it seems as if, like, the person that posted this video said, when you're trying to keep your followers, but your wife starts talking reckless on live, I feel like he's definitely trying to keep his following. So he's speaking in a sense that, um, I don't know. I don't know if he's trying to comfort the people after what he did to his wife. But now the wife is being, you know, defensive, as she should. And he's upset. He's going to have something negative to say. So I am not going to invest in that because I don't live by your expectations, by what you think and how you think I should react. Where I He's rolling his eyes. He's losing patience, you guys. All red flags. His wife has every right to feel this way. Every right. I should be right now because I have the source of my strength and it's not you. Okay. So I know I'm like, I'm just, and I know you, I feel you. I feel you. I know I'm with you. I'm with you. Let's go back and look at his face. Because look at what that. you think and how oh you think gosh. I'm not going to invest in that because I don't live by your expectations, by what you think and how you think I should react. Oh my gosh, yo, you guys, I'm legitimately noticing all this stuff right now. So, um, again, <laughs> we're analyzing this together that's where i should be right now because i have the source of my strength and it's not you okay. so i know I, like i'm just and i know you i feel you i feel you i know i'm with you i'm with you <laughs> but <laughs> i just want to slow you down a little bit um for, for shade room i think that was I'm trying to slow her down a little bit you're the guy that literally embarrassed your wife in front of the world and now you're I, I can't that right there was a red flag okay let's let's hop on to hmm because i saved a lot of these i saved a lot of these for a reason i think this one is already the truth is and i'm saying it here now is that Derek jackson was involved with other women outside the marriage all of it falls under the umbrella of inappropriate, cheating, affair, stepping out. Whenever you start referring to yourself in third person, thank you. That, that's how you know that you're in trouble. Here's a definite <laughs> stall. No, that's how you know you're a damn narc. Nah. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's just my personal opinion. It's not a proven fact, but I just think that. <laughs> okay, so, anyways, after this went down, the oddest thing ever happened. Derek Jackson, who usually sits in his car and does reels to, you know, relationship questions, or let's say he finds a video online, he will review the video and he'll speak on it. Well, this dude literally did a video review to him and his wife's live. No lie. This was the weirdest shit ever. But, and I found another person that had uh, pointed it out as well. Hold on. Self-proclaimed relationship guru Derek Jackson reacted to his own cheating confession video in third person. For real. Derek Jackson, um, a lot of people think of him as a relationship expert and guru and all of that. Well, he and his wife are making this video because apparently at some point in their marriage or maybe even beforehand in the relationship, he didn't take his own advice and he stepped out and he got involved with other women. Self-proclaimed relationship cringe as hell you guys if you didn't know i i've spoken about Derek jackson a while back so this is again me revisiting and i did point that out because i thought it was very odd that he sat in the car and reviewed 
the live video that he did sitting with his wife is just not normal. Uh, matter of fact, let me just show you. I do want to just add that I agree with what he just said. There is no justification for bringing other women into our marriage on any level. When I found out about it, I left. I did not hesitate or waste time to do so. And I stayed gone. No matter how many times he came, I stayed gone and stood firm on, I am not coming back. And I did not come back until I seen a shift and a change in his mentality. So there's nothing out there right now that is information that I don't already know about or haven't known about. Um, and so this is not something that uh, is new. <laughs> we have uh, moved forward from it. We have gotten counsel for, for it and continue to do so. He is still continuing to pursue God and continuing to seek guidance and, and wise counsel from. I do want to just add that. All right. So if you guys can tell, he's legitimately watching himself and his wife. And then he legitimately gives a review on it okay so after that the wife goes on to wear a helmet of salvation this helmet of salvation is the bonnet that she had on in the initial video you see a bonnet i see the helmet of salvation you see an army green shirt i see the breastplate of righteousness you see a do-rag oh i gosh. see a helmet against nappiness you see oh my gosh i did not expect that <laughs> sir you too much that was funny okay then after the helmet of salvation came this video Every person speaking against the names Danaea Jackson and Derek Jackson in mockery, accusation, slanders, and lies, may the mercies of God be withdrawn from you. May your husbands and wives become widows. Let your children become fatherless. Let your seed become vagabonds on the earth. Let the words of your mouth and your words of your hands be returned back to you. Let it go down your throat and choke you slowly until your days become few on the earth. The word of God says, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. You've been warned. And if you want to know where that is at in the Bible, go to Psalm 109. Go to Psalm 35. Go to Psalm 140. Go to Psalm 141. And keep our names out of your mouth. In the name of Jesus, have a blessed day. After seeing this video, I was highly disturbed. Highly disturbed. And I thought to myself, you know what? I understand why he cheated. I know that sounds really wrong, but I was bothered by her behavior. This wasn't the only video that came out after the cheating allegations. This one was a more recent response to cheating allegations. But her behavior has been like this. Okay? And um, again, this does not minimize him cheating. We're talking about a narcissist here. The damage that he's done to this woman... I pray can be reversed because it seemed as if she was very, if you looked at Danea before Derek, she was, yeah, she was doing it. A lot of times a narcissist will come and like drain you, remove your light, but it seems as if she's getting back on her feet and I'm very happy for her. But here's another clip. She's very much into God. Blockage, depression. Vomit yourself out now in the name of Jesus. Gotta hit this shit, but 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 gotta hit this shit, gotta hit this shit, but gotta hit this shit, but gotta hit You demons of mind control, mind blockage, depression. Vomit yourself out now in the name of Jesus. Gotta hit this shit, but gotta hit this shit, but blockage. So when you look at somebody like Derek, you probably wonder how the hell did you end up with her how that's what many people thought i i thought it too but 
narcissists love a type, right? He probably viewed her as weak. Um, she was probably a Christian, a devout Christian, good girl. Narcissists love good girls. They love to ruin them. And I think that's probably why. But anyhow, uh, let's get into one of my favorite narc detectors, who is a narc himself. Not saying this man is a narcissist, but if he is, he's at minimum a very, very toxic person. And of course, if you're new here, I'm a diagnosed narcissist and I point out people's toxic traits and behaviors. So Mr. Derek Jackson allegedly has got caught cheating on his wife or whatever, I, allegedly. It's a relationship guru, coach, whatever, women's empowerment, you know, hey, hey, Team Jackson, it's time to te- get rid of the toxic man. Tasha K posted this on her story about, you know, catching Derek Jackson doing what he's doing in Miami with an unknown woman. This is Tasha K and it's all alleged. Shortly after that got exposed, Mr. Jackson went to his Instagram and posted this heartwarming picture of his him and his current wife and he filed for divorce this is allegedly after he got exposed for the, the unknown woman in miami and whatnot look at look at this what he posted y'all over the past several months my wife and i have gone through many changes typically narcissistic types of people minimize what they've been going through going through affairs and whatever allegedly or changes many changes some of you have speculated while others have reached out to offer support as we privately privately established this new normal for ourselves and our beautiful children so again this right here to me reads as deflection focus on the children and those of you who have speculated you're dead wrong with what you're speculating about earlier this year this year y'all we decided to go our separate ways and file for divorce making the decision to file was one of the hardest decisions of my life but i found peace knowing that our mission of raising healthy children starting with healthy and whole parents is still being accomplished so going through this apology you see the word prayer mentioned twice pray 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 a lot of narcissistic, toxic people, again, I say these narcissists, will use use religion as a tool of manipulation. Hey, I'm religious, so take it easy on me. I'm a religious, so I have to be a good person. And a lot of people will pray and just forgive forgive and forget because they pray. Going back through that apology, he said earlier this year we established that we were going to get divorced. A couple weeks, weeks ago, his wife said this. Every person speaking against the names Danae Jackson and Derek Jackson in mockery, accusations, slanders, and lies, may the mercies of God be withdrawn from you. May your husbands and wives become widows. Let your children become fatherless. Let your seed become vagabonds on the earth. Let the words of your mouth and your words of your hands be returned back to you. Let it go down your throat and choke you slowly. Unless earlier this year means a couple weeks ago, I don't, it doesn't seem like his wife is on the same page as him. Or she's behind the scenes trying to fight for the marriage, but you never know. Because it seems oddly suspicious that, you know, he comes out with this right. That's a great point that he just made. I completely missed that. The wife was defending their marriage after the second accusation um, Tasha K made. Tasha K came out with video proof that he was with another woman in Florida. All right. So when Tasha K released that, uh, Derek Jackson's wife came out in defense of their relationship. So if they did already discuss divorce, I don't think she'd be doing this. No. After those po- photos get released. A lot of people probably go pick at Miss Jackson because of their video and whatnot. But like, if you think she's a victim of emotional abuse, possibly, allegedly, then that's a reaction to that abuse, possibly. Spiritual abuse, spiritual manipulation are 100,000% real when you're dealing in toxic relationships, allegedly. But so allegedly, this is the new person right here. And she is acting like she won a prize. How you mad he chooses me? She posted this on her, I think, TikTok. So a lot of narcissists and toxic people like to put the new person against the old person. Where the new person or the new supply feel like feels like they are winning a prize. Don't be mad at me. I'm just better than the ex, and now I just go. I'm gonna treat him better. And he gonna cheat on me. Typically, we see how that works out. He knows about narcissist stuff because a long time ago he used to follow me. He unfollowed me though, so mm-hmm. not saying this man is a narcissist. Ooh, he unfollowed you. Ha! That's probably why he got the narcissist. Oh my goodness, narcs, narcs, narcs. There are a couple of narcissists on YouTube that legitimately follow people that talk about narcissism and they regurgitate the same shit and that that probably is what Derek was doing because the fact that he unfollowed Lee speaks volumes Hmm. speaks volumes they don't want you to know that they copy others I could tell you a handful of people that are narcissists or excuse me that I believe are narcissists on YouTube that speak on narcissism 
but let's get back into the video so <laughs> i cannot believe this so i come across this guy here that made a clip about the breakup game so i'm like hmm when it comes to a narcissist this right here makes so much sense y'all ever played the game called breakup that's when you hear up and jump out of a relationship so you can say you left that person so you look like you got the power. This is basically about what I talked about in my video yesterday. How she secretly filed for a divorce, then changed her mind. But information provided, more than likely Mr. Jackson found out his wife was calling it quits. So let me go ahead and look like I got the power by telling America I filed for a divorce. If anybody has ever been with a narcissist, if you leave the narcissist, give me a sec. If you leave the narcissist, they cannot handle that. They need to be the one to leave you. So a narcissist will literally hoover you back, love bomb you, do whatever they can to get you back after you leave them just so that they can leave you. Yes, it's a game. It's a stupid game. But it's the game narcs play. But we're not going to talk about the alimony check and all the stuff that he's refusing to pay. But I ain't going to say nothing else. I'm going to leave you. Leave your comment in your comment section. And y'all grown. Y'all going to do what y'all want to do. Yep. Let's go to the video he said he had prior to. I never clicked on it. I just saved it. I remember one time April Mason stated, if a man wants to make a lot of money on social media, all he has to do is learn how to pander to women. Exhibit A. Oh World's greatest liar and cheater, Darren Jackson, is getting a divorce filed on him by none other than the notorious Bonnet. That's right, a.k.a. Miss Jackson. For all the people who don't know who Darren is, Darren is the relationship coach who done Derek. <laughs> speeches. Then wrote children's books. I think he done done a few bar mitzvahs on telling people how to have a successful marriage and respecting and loving your wife. Then they found out he was a major cheater, which a lot of men already can see through that. But for some, for at one point, women basically idolized this man to be like their husband or what they expected their daddy who should have been. But anyway, we're not going to go down that road. Believe a comment in the comment section. Yep. At one point, I did think this dude was damn near perfect. I did. I ain't gonna lie. Um, but yeah, the pandering to women, that right there completely, it just stopped working after he was exposed. The first time he was exposed, it was one woman. Then next minute it was two. Then it was three. So people were over him. If you check out his YouTube channel, his numbers went down. They went down when I tell you. Um, he actually like kind of stopped making as many videos as he used to. Uh, you didn't really see him too much on Instagram uh, floating around anymore. He kind of went into a, a little bit of a hiding, came back. And I see he's on TikTok. But I noticed one thing about how he records on TikTok. We're going to get into the woman, the uh, the wife's um latest interview in a second i'm just trying to get over um what i'm trying to say about derek so i checked out his tiktok and i was just like hold on look inconsistency will have you fumble in the bag and when i say bag i'm not talking about money like the real bag is when you got a real one in your corner like a woman that's holding it down a woman that truly loves you who are you talking to sir because you ain't talking to nobody look at this ever you guys every single video he has he's making it seem as if he's speaking to someone Oh, yeah, dudes love to pop back up in your life, especially when they see that you've moved on. Not that we don't want reconciliation, but, you know, the pride, it have us chilling out because it'd be replaying all the time that you. I know you guys might think this is not a big deal. First of all, the lack of being able to 
give eye contact. Something I need women to understand is that there is a man that sees privilege in everything your man. The lack of the reason him. why a guy will come. The lack of giving eye contact. I know it's just a camera. He's looking at himself. He knows he's lying. He cannot. That is why he's looking the opposite direction. And on top of that, he might be speaking at an angle to show that he's important. Yes, a lot of people film that way to make it seem as if they are being um, spoken to like interview style. Okay, um, Derek, you look really foolish if you ask me. Just my personal thought and opinion. No, that boy ain't sorry. He just feels stupid because he can't replace you. That's what that is. <laughs> and I'm not saying like, oh, no man that messes up is ever really sorry. There's a such thing as a man being genuinely remorseful. Nobody wants your advice, sir. Can we please stop saying that? It's not true. Men are not intimidated by strong women. Like men are turned off by women that misuse their strength to fight. A oh, my gosh. Honestly, ever since the you know scandal came out i was never able to go back and watch this guy this is really like uncomfortable to watch but yeah i just wanted to show you guys what he's up to now nah sis you're not crazy <laughs> don't let that beg a venture that you are either you just peep game you just nah sir you look crazy talking to yourself <laughs> not only you referring to yourself in third person but talking to yourself, laughing, giggling, but sir. <laughs> Pete, the inconsistency, the lies, the way that his words and actions weren't matching. A man is going to call you crazy when he wants to leverage your emotional investment into him. All right, enough of him. Let's Look. get let's get into the wife. So, you guys, Danaya Jackson will be interviewed. Well. The interview already took place, but it will be airing tomorrow. And I am so excited. So excited to see what she has to say. She gave a little snippet or they gave a little snippet on the shade room. And I'm just going to share with you. What did that do to you? I became a shell of myself. I didn't know who I was. I actually have a couple posts on my page where I was like, I have a post that says, I knew her body better than I knew my own. Stop. Let, let that sit there. You said you knew another woman's body better than you knew your own. Uh, yes, several, several women. I know several, I knew several other women's bodies better than I knew my own. And um, I spent a lot of time, like I was, I, I went in such a, a deep hole where I was like studying these women. I would go to their profiles and I would study their pages and like what they wear. I knew when they were meet when they had met up. So I've, I watched their videos of them having sex. So I would try to imitate that and recreate that in our relationships so that he could choose me and want me. And um, that is a low point to be. And I'm, I'm tearing up a little bit because that, I hate that I even got to a point where that was a thing. But that, that it was, it was just that. And so I knew several other women's bodies better than I knew my own. I lost, completely lost myself. I became a shell of myself. I tried to imitate their hair, their actions, even um, sexual things that I had seen him doing with them. I tried to recreate that in our life um, when when we were engaged. And, and none of it amounted to anything. What did that do to you? Wow, 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 wow. Mm. Wow, that was a lot. That was a lot. So with this uh, short clip here, I can't imagine what the interview is going to be like. Um, I just wanted to touch on it real quick, mainly because I imitate that. I realized that this relationship she was in was most likely a narcissistic abuse type of relationship. She punished herself by doing all those things. 
that man hopefully she sought out therapy i hear she's doing well she's actually looking pretty good um seems like she lost weight probably due to stress but we'll check out her page just so you guys can see for yourself okay so this is her page we'll just kind of wait for more people to join in here 37 weeks ago i don't know i can't say that the old testament i can't say that she lost a lot of weight Look real good. that is not her the lord ministered to me saying it's a time to pray she looks great though Mm -hmm. Okay, she looks great after her breakup, she's flourishing. Okay, I'm just showing you guys her page. She had it on private for a while, I guess, because it was just too much. This most recent is of her interview here. She looks good with makeup. She looks good with without makeup too, I'm just saying. She just looks you know like a baddie right here. Never ever ever be basic for nobody. Honey shine bright. Let them burn. Okay. Alright, girl. Okay guys. So I just wanted to share with you guys. Her page, if you want to look her up, it's Danea Jackson. And the interview will be, well, technically, since it's already midnight, later on today. And uh, part two will be for tomorrow. Looking forward to it. And if you guys want, we can have a conversation. If not. It's cool. We'll move on to something else. Y'all, please. We're going to have to chill with the Brianna shit. <laughs> I'm going to have to, you know, every once in a while talk about something else because I am drained when I tell you. I am drained. I just saw a clip of Brianna's interview with um Rolling Out. And I had to stop at two minutes think the video might be like 15 minutes long i stopped at two minutes i couldn't take the lies anymore so yeah you guys i just had to take a break from that and i came with this so um i guess i'll catch you on the next video which will probably be a, an update on nature boy who has court in the morning <laughs>